students, I, uh, Mr. Simon Nazir, on the behalf of Cassette Experimental, Karanagar, and I am welcoming you on this occasion. We had conducted here a quiz competition between the classes. So let us start this day. I hope a good, way, a wish a very good luck to all of the teams. Let the teams uh, introduce themselves to other students. Let us start from team first. Good afternoon, my name is Javar Tarek and I am representing class 10. Thank you. Good afternoon, I am Urvath Farooq. I am representing class 9. Thank you. Good afternoon, I am Zainab. I am representing class 8. Thank you. No, I am not Good afternoon, I am Mukul Altaf. I am representing class 7. Thank you. Good afternoon, I am Anvashan. I am representing class 9. Good afternoon, I am Rizwan and I am representing class 10. Good afternoon, I am Mutahar Kizakar. I am representing the class 10. Good afternoon, I am Zaf and I am representing class 8. Thank you. Good afternoon, I am Azir Mukhtar and I am representing class 9 thread. Thank you. Good afternoon, I am Jasminder Singh. I will be representing 10th class. My name is Zawar Tarek and I am representing class 10th. I am Zahra and I am representing class 8. Thank you. I am Ajna and I am representing class 7. Good afternoon, I am I am my name is Muhammad Rahman and I am representing the class 10. Thank you. No. I am Kaira. I am representing class 7. Thank you. Let me make you familiar about the uh, rounds. There will be first round, that will be the individual team round. I'll ask question to team first and then to team second, then team third and team fourth. Likewise, we'll uh, do the second round in the same manner, right? Then there will be third round, that will be on the individual basis. First question will be passed to participant first and then to participant second, third and so on, right? And then there will be the last round that will be passed on round. For example, if you will ask a question to team first and the team is not able to answer the question, that same question will be passed to another team. If team first is able to answer the question, they will get 10 marks and if they will not be able to answer the question and the question is passed to team second and team second will be there to answer the question, they will get 5 marks, right? Right? So let us start the competition. Good luck. Now the first question goes to team first. How could you define scalar quantities and vector quantities? Very good, right. Now the question goes to team second. List the points of difference in between speed and velocity. Are there any other the point of difference in between the two? Right answer. Now the question goes to team third. Team third. Okay, tell me. Why would objects collide to each other even if the force of attraction, the strongest, greatest gravitational force of attraction between each and every object exists? Why don't the objects collide then? If we say that in universe, each and every object attract to every other object, then why don't the objects collide or why don't we feel that force of attraction? Which another force is balancing that greatest gravitational force between the objects? And because all, all, all objects repel each other also. Now, on the, now team fourth. Team fourth. 
No. How could we define sublimation? The process of sublimation. Give an example. Sublimation is a process which liquid with solid directly change into gas. For example, naphthalene. Does in sublimation the object undergoes uh, if a solid is converted into gaseous form, does it change to liquid first? No, directly yes. Yes, yes. Now the question goes to team fourth. What is sublimation? Give an example. Sublimation is a process of uh, sublimation is a process when uh, liquid uh, when solids get directly changed into gas. For example, naphthalene bonds. Naphthalene bonds. Very good. All right. Let us discuss some questions from chemistry and biology. Now the question goes to team first again. Can you tell me why the cell organelle lysosomes are also known as the suicide bags? Very good. Now the question goes to team second. Can you tell me the currency which runs throughout the body? The energy currency which runs throughout the body? Which type of currency? What is the name of that currency which runs throughout the human body? Very good. Now the question goes to team third. Which cell organelle is known as the powerhouse of a cell and why is it called so? Mitochondria is known as the powerhouse of the cell because it releases energy in the form of ATP that is energy in Very good. Now the question goes to team now the question goes to team 4. How could you define pressure and what are the SI units of pressure? What is pressure and what are the SI units of pressure? Uh, For round first, 10 points to team A, 10 points to team B, sorry, no point for team C for round first and 10 points for team D. And for round second, all the teams have got 10, 10 points. Congratulations. So, uh, now let us start uh, round third. Round third, as you know. Okay now, let us start round third. In round third, we will ask you questions individually to the students, right? Are you ready? Okay. Now the question goes to uh, Roman from team A. Tell me the space between two myelin sheets in a neuron. Space between two myelin sheets in a neuron. Space between two myelin sheets in a neuron is called a wrong answer. Now the question goes to which gland is known as the master gland of pituitary, master of pituitary gland? Sorry. Be a little louder. Now? Now next. Why do plants have a 
an additional cell wall? Because it provides, because it provides some utility uh, to stand and it uh, and it, it, can, it provides a rigidity and it's made of cellulose uh, and because it's not present in the human cell of animal cell, it's made of cellulose Very good, a right answer. What is the full form of ATP? What is the full form of ATP? Okay. Now team second, the question goes to Yavar, how could you define weight of an object? And what is its SI unit? Sorry? A half answer is right. Now the next participant. Which part of brain connects brain with the spinal cord? A right answer. Next. What is the tissue? I'm asking about tissue. What is a tissue? Tissue is made up of many cells. Many tissues together form an organ. A half answer is correct. Now the question goes to next participant. What is the valency of magnesium in magnesium oxide, MgO? The right answer. And face? And cranium? Right answer. Now the next participant. What is the another name of <coughs> sand? What is the chemical formula and the another name of sand? Okay, now next. What is jet propulsion mechanism? Next. Sepals are collectively known as? Mechanics. Alright answer. Now team 4. The first participant. Can you list the points of difference between endocrine gland and exocrine, exocrine gland? Endocrine glands are those glands which secrete hormones through without ducts, and the exocrine glands are those glands which produce enzymes through ducts. Very good. Alright, answer. Next. What is the pituitary gland? Mom. Mom. Next participant. Triploblastic means? Uh, Triploblastic means uh, three gram. Very good. The right answer. Mm -hmm. Now next. Stigma, style and ovary are together known as? Very good. The right answer. After the completion of round third, let us have a look on the total scores. Team A has secured 25 marks. Team B is leading with 35 marks but with a tie with Team D. Team D and Team uh, B are at 35 marks and Team C is at 20. 
but uh, don't lose her heart let us move forward and let us see who will be the winner the fourth round that is also known as uh, the pass on round i'll ask for example the question to team a if they are not able to answer the question the same question will go to team b and so on right and if the team a is able to answer the question they will get 10 marks for that and if not the team b is able to answer the question they will get 5 marks for that right understood so let us start now the question goes to team a name the gland which is both endocrine and exocrine in nature thank you very good a right answer now the question goes to team b name two conducting tissues xylem and phloem a right answer now the question goes to team c pons veruli is a part of mid pole or hind pons veruli is a part of mid pole or hind it is a part of hind uh, mid hind mic yahan pass right answer is the right answer now the last question to the last team which part of brain constitutes 80% of it guys very good a right answer team a has secured 35 marks team b 45 team c 30 and team b 40 team d 45 so team d and team b are at position first with 45 marks and at position second is team a and at position third there is team c but there is nothing to lose heart about let us hope for a very best for in future let me uh, have a look on the final scores team a is with 35 points team b the leading uh, team with a score of 55 points team c with a score of 30 points and team d with a score of 45 points and at last let me disclose this team b is at position first let us have a big round of applause for team b team d is at position second with a score of 45 points at third position there is team a with a score of 35 points and at last position there is team c with a score of 30 points but there is nothing to lose heart about let us try in the next uh, quiz competition or in the next competition a very good luck for all the four teams for your future thank you so much thank you ma'am